Welcome to this week's Care for the Course and Golf Roll of the Week. And I'm out here on the fourth hole and I found my ball in an area that's right next to the car path on some rocks and some gravel. Do I get relief from this area when my ball comes to rest here or do I have to play as it lies? And the answer is yes, you do get relief if you choose to take it. So this area is defined by the USGA as an extension of the car path. We've put rocks and gravel here as a replacement of asphalt. So if I wanna take relief, I just need, just like the cart path relief, I take the nearest point of relief that's not on the rocks where I'm standing on them or I'm gonna hit them or my ball finishes on them. So the nearest reference point would be right about here. So I'm gonna place a T there. One club length with the longest club in your bag, which is your driver, no nearer the hole. I'm gonna mark that with another T here. I can now clean my ball and then drop it no near the hole between the two tees at knee height always. And now my ball is in play. I've chosen to take relief because I think I can hit a better shot from here than I can from the rocks. When you're out here, the rocks have been placed out here around the edge of the cart pass so that we don't wear down the edges of the pass. So if you're turning around, you may have to use these rocks. That's what they're there for. But you also get relief from those rocks if you hit, get your ball, you, you leave your ball on them or hit your ball onto them when you're out on the golf course. So take advantage of this rule situation. If you're able to take relief, we'll see you on the course.